Hey guys, okay, so let's look at uh, your, your lesson for the day where it says Janet is running around a track that is one fourth of a mile long. So this is a mile. That would be half of a mile. This would be one fourth of a mile, right? We would have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths right here would be one whole mile, right? Because four fourths is one whole. Well, here it says Janet is running around a track that's one fourth of a mile long. She runs around the track five times. How many miles does she run? So here, let's think about this a couple ways. One way might be to think of it like repeated addition. One fourth, five times. We know five times is multiplication, right? So we're thinking one fourth times five, which is the same as repeated addition. One fourth times five is the same as one fourth five times. One fourth one time plus one fourth a second time plus one-fourth a third time plus one-fourth a fourth time plus one-fourth a fifth time. Sorry, it's taking me a little while. I'm doing my best here. So we got one-fourth five times. We know when we add with fractions, the denominator stays the same. When, the, when there's a common denominator, the denominator stays the same. And then one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths, five-fourths. One-fourth five times is the same as five-fourths. And that makes sense also here on my, uh, my number line, we had one-fourth for once, two-fourths for twice, three-fourths, Four fourths was one whole mile, plus another fourth would be five fourths. One fourth five times would be five fourths. And we know that four fourths is one whole. So five fourths would be one whole, plus that one extra fourth. From the 10 minute math, we were making improper fractions into mixed numbers. Five fourths is the same as one and one fourth. So if Janet did five one-fourths or one-fourth times five, we could add one-fourth five times and get five-fourths, which is the same as one and one-fourth. Let's look at Unit 7, 1.1, which if you had your math workbook, I would tell you to get out your math workbook. And it's loading, I'm hoping. Please load. It's loading. And... <clears throat> You're going to be doing these questions. Hopefully, you'll be able to do them by accessing your Pearson Realize. But just in case, I'll try to send you the document of these uh, questions. So it's going to be pages 421 and 422. Let's try this together. Let's do number one together. It says solve each problem, use a representation, and write an equation for each problem. Representation is like drawing something, a picture, or, um, and it's also, and then I also want you to write out an equation. There's a two-thirds mile loop around a pond near Ronaldo's house. On Monday, he ran around that loop four times. So he did two-thirds four times. So you can think of this 
like the 10 minute math. Draw a bunch of uh, fractions. So we have two thirds four times, two thirds once. Two thirds twice, two thirds three times, two thirds four times, which gives us one, two, two and two thirds. You could also say um, two thirds four times, right? Times four. Which we know is the same as repeated addition. It'll just be easier if I use this whiteboard. Hopefully you can see it. So we got two thirds times four, right? Which is the same as, two, we can't see with the pink. Let me use blue. Which is the same as two thirds plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds. It's just repeated addition, right? Multiplication and repeated addition are the same thing. The denominator is the same, so it remains the same when you add with common denominators. Two, four, six, eight. Eight-thirds is the same as two-thirds four times. And we know eight-thirds, we could say numerator divided by denominator. Three goes into eight twice. 2 times 3 is 6. What's left over? 2 is left over. So it's 2 and 2 thirds. We can also say 8 thirds, like we did before, make a bunch of fractions out of 3. 3 thirds is 1 whole. 6 thirds is 2 holes. 7 thirds, 8 thirds. Two and two thirds is the same as eight thirds. So, so two thirds four times is eight thirds. Okay, and um, I'd like you to try to do four twenty one and page four twenty two should be able to access it by going to the rapid identity and, and, and going into Pearson Realize and then doing uh, Unit 7 S 1.1 and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to assign that today's Sunday and it'll be due make it due on Wednesday. The whole class. And um, let me know how this goes. Hoping you'll do just fine with the 10 minute math and this uh, this class assignment. So let me know how it goes and hopefully you'll be able to access it. Hopefully you guys were able to get a Chromebook from Washington Township if you needed it. And uh, this is the beginning of our e-learning adventure guys, do your best.